Well, hello fellow trappers. Old Seldom here. A nice March, mid-March day. It's in the mid-40s right now. And you might ask, you know, what's Old Seldom been doing since he made that beaver table? Well, I'll tell you. I, uh, I bought myself uh, some uh, half a dozen 330 round body grips. I could see where they could really work for me in the crossovers. So when you, you know, you can mess around. Last year I had, uh, I got scrap 3 8 rods, so I made some H stands, you know, for my regular uh, 330s. But this I decided I, wa I didn't want to use an H stand. I wanted to use a different stabilizer. So I looked through, you know, different stabilizers and the KB stabilizer caught my eye and uh but i'll tell you with uh with the round body grips it's uh it's a different ball game in when it comes to fixturing you know uh when i uh to the stabilizer fixturing i should say so uh what i come up with was my version and i guess i'm gonna probably call it uh I'll probably call it Seldom's uh, Beaver Skater. You know, <laughs> like a looks kind of like those pond skaters you see, you know, skimming across the water. Well, <laughs> that's what that's what we got here. So there's a there's a 330 setting set up in in one, and and, and you know when you're dealing with circles, uh, circle uh, round body grips it's almost an elliptical effect because one jaw is you know is going to set three-eighths of an inch higher than the other well this causes a little problem with using a regular you know i guess a kb stabilizer i've never had one in my hands i just saw pictures of it so hey i had the three-eighths rod i <laughs> i had some number two sprint coils and some number threes i said i'll use the number threes and uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I built uh, these uh, beaver skater, Seldom's beaver skater <laughs> stabilizers for, for uh, crossovers and bottom edges. Just, these are just specific to a round body grip though, not my other body grips. No sir, they, it'll be crooked as hell. It'll, they'll lean is what they'll do. So, uh, yep, gonna work like crazy I think well I know they will so uh, just my version it's I spent quite a bit of time uh, fabricating them and taking them apart and putting them back together to get what I wanted and one of the biggest problems I have where most people don't but maybe lots of people my age I got a pacemaker so I don't have I got rid of my welding machine so all I've got is uh, all I do is gas weld anymore well the problem with gas welding is You've got, you know, two hands, one for the torch and one for the filler rod. So you're, you're kind of, uh, and I can't use big magnets because of my pacemaker. So it's a, it's a difficult task, but you, I can overcome it. Anybody can overcome it with a little thought, but it is a, it is a tough thing, uh, gas welding with, uh, where you uh, normally would, uh, easily weld anything else with uh, two hands it's uh, sometimes you need a third hand with the gas but anyway so there you go there's uh I tell you I'm 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 loving these uh, these round 330s oh Jesus yes so looking forward to using them and uh, so anyway I wanted to show you what uh, I come up with in the shop and uh, and somebody else may uh, may have round body grips and want to do the same thing. But I'll tell you what, since you don't see these, this, uh, you know, for round body grips, if somebody's in my part of the, of the woods <laughs> when I'm trapping and you see a round body grip with this stabilizer, you don't even have to check tag. You're going to know who it is because I don't think you're going to find another one exactly like that. So, folks, have a St. Uh, have a great St. Patty's Day. By golly, we're going to have one, the wife and I, with our corned beef later now. So seldom back again. I uh, 
I uh, forgot to show something in that in my video about with my uh, beaver strider. I sh I didn't show you how uh, how solid it is. Maybe I can. Maybe I can show you here. Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but here, see that? That's that three-inch or uh, number three music wire. I mean, you know, you know, you can carry this thing out, out, and pretty dang easy and set her, set her at a crossover. I'll tell you, huh? I mean, you got to hold it down and move it move it against that spring no it's as solid as a friggin rock I'll tell you yep it's exactly what I was looking for and I'm sorry I didn't put it in the uh, original video we'll make this an excerpt <laughs> later